Hello guys and welcome to this Mobirize tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to publish your website using GitHub and how to add a custom domain. So once you're done making your website, you want to hit the publish button. And for this example, I'm going to choose the first option, which is local drive folder. Select a folder that you want to save your website to. It doesn't really matter which one, just pick one and hit publish. Once it's done exporting, you want to head over to github.com and sign up for an account. I've already done that, so I'm just going to sign in. Uh, once you're signed in, you want to head over to your profile and repositories. And you want to create a new repository. Uh, the repository name should be your username dot github uh, dot io i think so gustav force dot github dot io and create repository once that is done you want to head over to desktop dot github dot com and you want to download and install github for your desktop once that is done you want to log in using the same username as you used in the web browser once that is done you are going to uh, come back to this page and click setup in desktop and it's going to ask you uh, to clone a repository and just click clone once it's done cloning you want to click on open this repository and you can see a map here called your username github.io and you want to open that up and then you want to head to wherever you saved your website so in my case it's in github tutorial uh, you can delete this one right here and then drag over to index.html and the assets folder and then head back into the desktop app and then you can see that a lot of stuff has been happening in here you don't really need to pay attention to this but you need to go down to summary and type in a summary. So I'm just gonna say website one and click commit to master. And then finally click on publish branch. Once that is done, your website will be live and you can access it by going to uh, your username um, dot github dot io so as you can see my website is now uh, hosted on github and in the next part of the tutorial I'm going to teach you how to add a custom domain name I hope you guys found this useful and I'll see you guys in part two